Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and I like to do fashion DIYs. And as predicted, I fell off my train of productivity and consistency. But I am back and I am going to be repurposing this dress that I made earlier in the year and it was riddled with a bunch of problems and to be honest I just never want to look at this dress again but I don't want the material or the fabrication that I made to go to waste so I am going to be repurposing this dress into a top and a tote bag I'm going to be using the material from the skirt to make the tote bag and the top it's very simple I'm just cutting it and we're gonna be inserting a zipper. And I know you're probably wondering, what dress is this? Like, let's let's see it. Well, unfortunately, I got a little happy with the seam ripper last night and started taking it apart. But to be honest, when I started seam ripping, I wasn't thinking about making a video out of it, so that's why I really wasn't thinking ahead. It's okay, I'm gonna just show you where we're at with it right now. Okay, so we're just gonna have to use our imagination um, but I'm sure you can kind of get the gist of this. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be sewing a zipper into the back of it so I can wear this strictly as a top. I'm going to keep all the edges raw because I just really like the way that looks. And this is going to be like a really quick and easy simple thing just to sew in the zipper. I know obviously it's hard to kind of like actually see what it's supposed to fit like. I actually really like the length. I think it's fine. So I just have to insert the zipper. Okay, so as always, I'm never really fully prepared here. A few weeks ago, I went out and I got some zippers anticipating to do this project, but I did not get one that was long enough. I got two different lengths, but they're both a little bit too short. So I will have to go back and get another one because I don't really want to make it shorter. I kind of like it. So I'm going to put this on pause and start the second project. So this is the skirt of the dress and we are going to be using this to make a tote bag and this is just the base of this like fabrication i have in the back of my mind that i want to make i just really want to get very explorative and experimental with different scraps of fabric i also really want to bust out my cricut today and start using it for vinyl pieces and also for cutting out fabric pieces my vision is to turn this into my dream tote bag that's going to be big enough to fit my laptop, my iPad, all my other notebooks and things that I need if I were ever to leave the house and want to work remotely. I will be able to throw it all in this bag, so I'm so excited to start with this. So let's get started. I started by deconstructing my skirt. I removed the side seams and seam ripped the back patch pockets. Then I used my ruler and rotary blade to cut the denim fabric into my tote bag shape. Now that I have both of my pieces cut out, I need to find something to use for the lining as well as different things that I'm going to be using for like patchwork designs. I'm going to go through all of my scrap fabrics and see what I can use. It's kind of exciting because this is basically why I keep all these random scraps are for projects like this. So I'm so excited to see what I can kind of like come up with. After sifting through my bins of scrap fabric, I found a solid and striped yellow fabric, some red fabric, and luckily I already had some extra sturdy interfacing to use, and some extra scrap denim pieces. I got a Cricut for Christmas and I haven't really played around with it much yet, but the main reason why I wanted it was so I could make my own designs for the Cricut to cut out. So this was me experimenting and just starting off with something really simple like these smiley face designs. I have done a few hearts out of fabric. I've also attempted using the vinyl, the smart vinyl, um, and I was in the middle of doing some black variations and then now my Cricut and my computer are just like not connecting. Like it says it's connected, but nothing's happening. It's very frustrating. So I'm just trying to restart and troubleshoot and I just kind of want to have all the pieces already laid out so I can kind of like cut and maneuver and just kind of like make. So for the lining of the bag, I'm gonna go with this leftover fabric that I actually have from making the cover of this ironing board. I'm going to cut two of these bad boys out. And interfacing and then started to cut and add pieces. I kind of just went with the flow and moved things around until I like what I saw. Thank you. 
Okay, so welcome to a new day and a new week. I am still in the process of making this tote bag and this is how one side of the lining has turned out and I'm going to now work on the other side of the lining and it occurred to me that since I am making a laptop bag I might as well make an actual slot for my laptop. So that is what I'm going to do on the other side. I measured out a section for my laptop on a pair of old jeans. Okay, um, of course, even though I, like, I measured this like five times, I did not really account for the depth. So it's just a little snug. This isn't really going to work at the top at least. So I'm just going to like add maybe like a little strip of fabric to one side to kind of make it wide enough. The patchwork element of this bag is really saving me from the mistakes I'm currently making, so. So in order to make this bag sturdy, I am going to be sewing in two pieces of this heavyweight interfacing. That way the bag can actually support all the things that I plan to store in it, like my heavy laptop and iPad and anything else I need. So I'm actually going to be surging these onto the denim pieces of my bag. So now this is the fun part. I kind of just went with the flow and moved things around until I like what I saw. Okay, same mess, new day. Most of the mess is on the ground, so it's honestly overwhelming. And I just haven't wanted to clean this because I'm not done bag yet and I'm just gonna have to get it all out again. So I need to finish this today so I can clean and put this room back together because it's so daunting. And I've been keeping the door closed so I don't even see it when I walk by because it's awful. So this is the completed side of the bag. I have to just do one more. So let's get started. On the other side of the bag, I thought I would try out making a pocket that would fit my water bottle. I did that by tracing fabric over my water bottle and cut out a piece that was a little more than a half circle shape that I would sew onto the bottom. So this is gonna be another pocket that's going on the other side. And because I did the other side with yellow thread, I am going to be searching this one with the red thread. So here we go. Okay, today is the day I'm actually finishing this bag project and this video entirely. <laughs> it's supposed to be a weekly vlog. This is like going on week two here, but it's okay. I came prepared with some snacks. I stopped by Bulk Barn and got myself some snacks to get me through this sewing project. I'm a sucker for corn nuts. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. And um, sesame snaps or whatever these are called. Okay, now that my snacks are out of the way, we are going to finally finish this bag. But first I wanna show you how each piece turned out separately, and hopefully the vision will be even better once it's all sewn. But this is one side, another side, the water bottle bag, one side of the lining, and the other side of the lining. Whew, damn, I'm out of breath. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is trim all the corners. I'm going to be cutting a little box on all the corners so I can turn this into a right angle once the bag has been sewn. Time to sew my bag and I actually switched over to a walking foot because this is quite a few layers of denim and I don't want to be breaking any needles or anything. <laughs> I 
opened up the cutout at the corner and pinned opposite sides together and sewed them down. This is going to create that squared shape at the bottom of the tote. Okay, it's obviously a different day. And the other day got away from me. I ended up getting a call from a friend and it just turned into this like spontaneous thing. And now we're back and I'm not doing anything else until this project is done because I keep saying that and I'm still not finished. But we have made great progress. I have sewed my bag. I still obviously have to sew the lining, but this is kind of like a little bit of the moment of truth. Like what is it gonna look like on the outside? I'm so excited. I like it. It's so quirky and neat. I'm now just going to sew my lining pieces together and I will be right back. Okay, my lining is sewn together and you just have to make sure you leave an opening at the bottom so you can actually flip the whole bag right side out when we're done sewing. So I had this piece of Recording? What is this called? I can't remember. But anyways, I have this left over in my stash and I honestly think it's like the perfect length for a little shoulder bag. So I am just going to start by pinning and sewing this onto my bag. Now we are moving on to the final step, which is attaching the lining to the bag. So my bag is flipped right side out and I'm actually gonna go and turn my lining to be inside out. Once I stuffed one bag into the other, it was time to sew my bags together. Then I flipped it right side out through the hole in the lining and pressed the seams flat. I then stitched up the hole in the lining, turned the bag right side out, and pinned the top before adding the top stitch to keep the lining in place. <gasps> okay, my bag is done. I'm honestly like so over it, but I'm, it's done. This is the one side, and then this is the other side. I can't wait to shove all my stuff inside of it. I'm really excited. I'm really happy. But before I do that, I just want to finish all the sewing that I've laid out for today. And um, this piece right here that I have just thrown on my mannequin is next. Remember this? top that I was supposed to do at the very beginning of this video that I didn't have the zipper for? Well, I have a zipper for now. So we're just gonna do that real quick. I picked up an 11 inch separating zipper and I am just trimming the zipper tape down before I pin and sew it onto my top one side at a time. Okay, this shirt's done. Let's see how this fits. like super into it actually yay another thing that I have finally finished so that is it for today's video guys I know it took me a really long time to finish this bag but I'm so obsessed with how it turned out to think this kind of started off as just scrap fabrics I'm so excited okay so that is everything for today's video I'm so happy that I finally finished these items and now I just have to you know get to editing and then we're on to the next project and if you'd like to keep up and see what I'll be working on next please be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like what I make and I will catch you in the next one bye